Hi YouTube, I'm Aaron, founder of Go Try Nature, and this year my buddy Brandon and I drew cow tags in Wyoming, and just getting uh, geared up for the hunt here. Uh, we're actually leaving tomorrow, uh, the 14th, and season opens for rifle uh, December 15th. So just going to give you kind of a tour of what all I'll be packing, and kind of give you an idea of how I like to prepare for hunts. Um, typically we do a lot of backpacking stuff, but considering the temperature is going to be below zero, we're going to be doing some car camping in the truck. So, um, yeah, doing a little bit of overpacking, but, uh, it is what it is. Just want to make sure that we have everything, uh, that we need and everything, uh, that we should have in order to, to, uh, execute a successful hunt. So welcome to the Go Try Nature headquarters, AKA my office slash gear room. Um, so this is what we're bringing with us. We're bringing a heater with some fuel because it's going to be real cold. Uh, we've got a zero degree marmot bag, should keep me warm, and a Nemo sleeping pad. Uh, that's what I'll be sleeping on inside of my truck, which I'll kind of give you a tour of later. Uh, we got some snowshoes, it's kind of uh, camp shoes, slash another pair of boots. These are the hunting boots I'll actually be using. They're Danner pronghorn with um, insulation. Got some clamp-ons just in case. Um, got the bino harness inside there. We got some vortex binoculars. Uh, we got range finder, uh, windicator, all that good stuff. Typically, I always keep bear spray on me and a knife. Uh, we got our glass pad. Uh, got our tripod. This is a first aid kit, so I'll have just basic first aid stuff, paracord, lighter, moleskin, stuff like that. Toiletries. Don't really bring deodorant because. You're gonna be smelling either way. Got a camp chair, a bunch of hand warmers. These are like the super body warmers. I'll probably sleep with those in my sleeping bag. Hand warmers, toe warmers, a couple external chargers. Uh, I don't know if I already said chair, but chair, a couple different water bottles that I'll have in the field. This one's kind of for camp. Um, this has my headlamp and a few other lighters in it. Uh, we got the QU Ultra. Uh, 7,000 cubic inch bag, some QU um, game bags, this is a kill kit, so this will have like knives and my tag in it, pen to fill out my tag. Moving on to food, uh, always like to have at least one hot meal every night, so we got some Mountain House, noodles and chicken. Um, I got a bunch of Mountain House at a store that was going out of business, they didn't come in the pack, the bag that you can cook in. Um, it came in just some crappy foil bags that you can't cook in. So you can use like Ziploc freezer bags uh, to put that in. You can actually cook in those and it's safe for you. Got the jet boat foil with extra fuel. Uh, this kind of daily snack. So we got cookies and bars and a little beef jerky. I like to bring a separate little bag because before I go out to hunt, I like to unwrap everything, put it in my snack bag so I'm not crinkling wrappers in the field, scaring off a game doing that. Got a little coffee, some propel. Uh, some kind of supplements to add to water. This is instant coffee uh, for when I'm feeling lazy, Kool-Aid, and some emergency liquor, just in case I gotta do like a in the field surgery or something like that. Moving on. Overflowing to the next room. So brought a whole bunch of clothes. Uh, typically want to bring this much clothes, but since it's gonna be sub-zero, don't want to take any chances. So we got some Sitka Gators, Sitka, a Kelvin light hoodie, Sitka pants, and a mountain jacket, and a vest. Uh, we got rain gear top and bottom. Obviously it's not going to be raining, it's going to be snowing, but it should just provide an extra, <coughs> an extra, excuse me, an extra waterproof layer, um, just in case I might need that. This will kind of be my outer shell, again, kind of a rain jacket, but it's bigger, so it can accommodate all my layers. Um, got some puffy pants and puffy jacket both down should keep you warm and moving on always you know Wyoming's pretty minimal on what they require for you to wear in terms of orange but I always like to kind of go above and beyond because it's rifle season and I don't want to get shot so it's kind of the wool pile here got some wool underwear black ovis wool gloves um, got a wool hat that I'll probably use as more like a liner for my other beanies um, wool t-shirt wool hoodie wool bottoms um, got a neck gaiter, got just typical beanie that I'll probably wear on top of that little liner. This is a full face balaclava that I've actually never used, never really been in cold enough weather to use it. 
but it's reversible to orange if you want to show off your orange pride. A bunch of different socks, wool socks, thick socks, and some uh, thick wool gloves that kind of have the hand flap so I can have my fingers free to flip that over, keep me warm. And last but not least, we have the weapons of choice. So this is a Weatherby 300 mag uh, Vanguard with a Vortex Viper scope. Um, so I bought this gun this season. Haven't shot anything with it yet, uh, but it's sighted in ready to go. Ammunition's gonna be Hornby 180 grain GMX. And I typically bring a backup weapon just in case I'm, you know, walking through the woods, slip, fall, nudge my scope. Um, always kind of want a backup plan. This is a, a Remington 700 270 with the Vortex Diamondback scope. And the ammunition's gonna be Federal 130 grain soft point. So that's pretty much what I'm bringing. Should give me everything that I need to be comfortable, to be safe, and hopefully execute a successful hunt. So stay tuned. I'll be bringing you more footage on the way out there. I'll give you a tour of the truck and hopefully some sweet footage of the hunt. And hopefully we seal the deal, uh, get the tag cow elk, and bring home some tasty meat. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Bye.